Hello everyone, I'm Sachi. Have you ever heard of a mushroom called maitake? Maitake are one of the most commonly eaten mushrooms in Japan, and they are very popular because of their delicious taste and bite. Maitake are mainly found deep in the mountains in cold regions near the roots of old trees, but they can also be grown on logs. I usually only see them in the grocery store, so I have no idea how they are grown. The idea for this video came from a friend I ran into on the street who told me she was going to help with maitake production. And I thought it sounded like fun, so I filmed the cultivation process. By the way, mushrooms are called kinoko in Japanese. Mushrooms are called mushroom in katakana, a kind of kinoko. So in this video, to distinguish between the two, I will refer to Japanese mushrooms as kinoko. The word kinoko is usually written in hiragana or katakana, but the origin of the word is said to be children of trees in kanji. Children of trees are kind of cute, aren't they? In addition, the origin of the maitake's name is interesting. Maitake's mai means to dance. They were so rare that they were called phantom kinoko in the old days, and people who found them would dance for joy, hence the kanji meaning to dance. When I heard about the cultivation process from a friend, I imagined the equipment in a typical factory, but when I actually went to the factory, it was totally different. I had no idea that it was a fire which was burning under an oil drum, which was totally unexpected. Inside the drums, the logs used to grow maitake are being boiled in a simmering pot. It is being sterilized by boiling. I'm sure that if it were factory of that caliber, it would have its own specialized equipment. But I prefer the handmade look of this equipment. It's worth seeing and it's comforting to hear the sound of the fire. The owner of the maitake production here basically runs this factory by himself. When he needs help, he asks for help, and that helper happens to be a friend of mine. And the day before she went to help out, we ran into each other. It had been a long time. It had also been probably two years. This unexpected coincidence gave me the opportunity to see the maitake production process in action and to be able to share it with the viewers like this. I'm truly grateful for this opportunity. The owner moved to Tokyo from the countryside when he was young. After working in Tokyo for a long time, he came back to this place where he was born and raised. He had always planned to come back here someday. However, there are only mountains here, so he decided to learn forestry before returning. It's wonderful that he's thinking this thought. If I had to go back to my hometown, I would definitely go back without thinking. Then I would worry about what to do later because they are nothing but mountains. While studying forestry, he became interested in the cultivation of kinoko. In Japan, many people like shiitake, one of the most commonly eaten kinoko. Low cultivation of shiitake is also popular throughout Japan. In such a situation, low grown maitake are rather rare around here, so he focused his attention on them. The cultivation process for maitake involves cultivating logs that have been struck with kinoko fungi and planting them in the soil. The important thing is that the logs on which the maitake are grown must not have even the slightest trace of bacteria on them. This is where great care must be taken. The owner gets up at 4 am to start the process of sterilizing the logs. The logs are oak. He also goes to the mountains to procure the logs himself. The boiling disinfection process is said to begin after the water in the drum comes to a boil. It takes about 3 hours for the water in the drum to boil, 
and about five or six hours to sterilize the logs by boiling them to the core. That sounds like a daunting process even just hearing about it. On a side note, I heard that the ashes from this firewood can be used. They say it can be used as fertilizer for the fields or to get rid of pests. The owner will not throw away the ashes even if they are firewood ashes because there are still other uses for them in the future. After the sterilized logs are bagged one by one, they are shot with kinoko fungus the next day. Then they put the whole bag in a cardboard box and let it culture. The logs are left in the cardboard for several months and they become like common bell. The cultivated logs are planted in the soil at the end of June. Maitake are harvested in the fall. From these logs, maitake can be harvested every year for about 5 years. By the way, maitake are not only extremely rich in dietary fiber, but also contain very high levels of vitamin D. Vitamin D is a mineral that improves the immune system and prevents infection. It is said that the amount of vitamin D in log maitake is more than double that of commercially available kinoko. Anyway, it is a healthy food. Additionally, log maitake are large and thick. It is a very satisfying kinoko. They can be used in all kinds of dishes such as udon, soup, nabe, cream sauce, stir fry, and skudani. But I definitely recommend tempura. You can taste the whole flavor of maitake. Dried maitake are also available, but the rehydrated soup is full of maitake broth and nutrients, so you can use it as is in dishes such as takikomi gohan. The owner hand pulls the logs out of the pot one by one after they have been simmering for 5 or 6 hours and bags them. I heard it was extremely hot. It looked really hot. I asked him why he doesn't use an instrument to pick up the logs, and he said that it takes more time than necessary. The longer it takes, the more likely it is that the logs will be contaminated with bacteria, so it is faster to pick them up by hand. From the consumer's side, I could not imagine that each and every process is done by hand with so much hard work. The finest quality food is the product of such a small effort and the care of the maker. The final step is to clean up and prepare for the next day. After boiling the logs, the water is dark purple, almost black. This can be used to dye fabrics. This is what is called arc dyeing. The owner said he dyed fabrics with this boiled water several times. This also sounds interesting, and since I rarely have such an opportunity, 
I wanted to try it, so I asked him to save some of the bold water for me. I would like to show you how it was done in another video. This video will be a series. I will be filming my take production throughout the year, from the cultivation of the log to the harvesting of the maitake. Next, I will be posting a video of what happens to the cultured logs and what he do with them in July. Please look forward to it. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. I upload videos every Saturday if you enjoyed this. Please consider subscribing. Thank you.